No doubt the southern U.S. has been baking in the heat, and some of the record heat could be headed our way. Meteorologist Corey Smith explains why this summer has been record-breaking for some. Summer heat is nothing new, but in some places like Phoenix, Arizona, they have been above 110 degrees in the afternoon for 26 straight days. Meanwhile, waters off the coast of Florida have reached the upper 90s as an oceanic heat wave continues. Here in the Midlands, we are in the stretch of the hottest temperatures we have seen this summer, which surprisingly overall has been running almost 2.5 degrees below average. Even with a tamer summer, the Midlands still experiences very muggy conditions, which leads to high heat index values. According to our partners at Climate Central, Columbia is experiencing about two more weeks a year of impactful heat index values. This could be the case this weekend as dew points are expected to increase along with a large ridge moving east over the coming days. The overall pattern doesn't show extreme heat here in the southeast in the coming weeks. We are already passing over historically the hottest time of the year, so our chances of reaching the triple digits are diminishing fast. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. But we're still going to bake the rest of July. Mm -hmm. We know mm -hmm. we're going to bake in August and probably going into September as well. Yep, June globally ended up being the hottest in modern history.